Hello dear friends of mobility. So you have decided to drive through beautiful Austria and now want to find out more about it. You won't get any information from me on how the best Wiener Schnitzel is prepared. When it's time to rejoice in Austria, on which side the apron has to be tied on the dirndl. But on the subject of tolls, you'll find it with me. It doesn't matter whether you cross this country with a motorcycle, a car with a trailer, a mobile home or a truck. I will cover the entire range of vehicles. If you like the video, I would be very happy if you click on the like button. If you also want to be informed about the toll in other countries, click on subscribe. It costs nothing and brings me a lot. If you have any questions or comments, write them under the video and I'll try to answer them all. I look forward to your feedback and wish you a lot of fun. Okay let's go. In Austria there is a toll on all motorways and expressways. The toll is paid in the form of a vignette, section toll or go toll. Which variant you have to use depends on which vehicle is under your ass. Let's start with the vignette, which has been around since 1997. A vignette must be properly affixed to all cars. Motorcycles and mobile homes up to a maximum permissible total weight of 3.5 tons before driving onto a motorway or expressway that requires a vignette, or it must be purchased online in advance. But, now comes a small exception for all bargain hunters. So if you are normally required to have a vignette, i.e. move under 3.5 tons. Then there have been exceptions to the vignette obligation in Austria since 2019. These are in Vorarlberg, Western Austria. The A14 Rheintal, Wolgau Autobahn toll road between the state border at Horbrands and the Hohenems Junction. This means that if you drive in from Germany at Lindau or from Switzerland at Diepolsor and want to see the beautiful Bregenz Forest, you can move around this section without a vignette. This is particularly suitable for commuting across the border triangle between Germany and Switzerland. Just don't miss the right descent. In Tyrol, the toll road A12 Intel Autobahn between the national border near Kufstein and the Kufstein Sud Junction. Above all, this route gives you easier access to ski areas between Tyrol and Salzburg. And that without vignettes. In Salzburg there is the currently last drivable exception, the toll road A1 West Autobahn between the state border at Walserberg and the Salzburg North Junction. This should allow you to visit the birthplace of Mozart without a vignette. But now back to those who drive more than just a few kilometers on Austria's roads. Because you will make an effort to buy a vignette. It is best to simply ask at one of the last gas stations in the surrounding country of entry or at the border crossing upon entry. Be careful if you come to Austria via toll-free secondary routes. Then take care of a vignette in good time, so that you don't suddenly find yourself on a toll road. Because if the Asfinig sheriffs catch you, it will be expensive. Vignettes are available with a validity period of 10 days, 2 months or 1 year. If you have bought a 10-day or 2-month vignette, it always states the first day of validity. This means that the punching day for the 10-day vignette is January 19, 2022, and is then valid up to and including midnight on January 28, 2022. The same applies to the monthly vignette, but for a period of two months. If punched on January 19, 2022, this will then be valid up to and including midnight on March 19, 2022. The validity of the annual vignette is somewhat different. This is valid for 14 months, namely from December 1 of the previous year to January 31 of the following year.
Anyone who buys a vignette to stick on must also stick it on. And glue it on completely. What doesn't stick doesn't count. The Asfinag sheriffs are very strict here. Therefore, detach the vignette completely from the carrier film and stick the vignette on the inside of the windscreen so that it is clearly visible. Don't stick them in the tint strip. A vignette that is not affixed is invalid and a replacement toll of 65 euros will be charged for motorcycles and 120 euros for cars. It can also result in fines of between 300 euros and 3000 euros if you don't pay a replacement toll. If the vehicle is type approved without a windscreen, instead of sticking it on, you only have to carry the vignette with you and present it in the course of an inspection. Motor vehicles with three wheels, i.e. trikes and can-am spiders, are considered single-track vehicles. The vignette for a single-track vehicle, motorcycle vignette, is therefore sufficient for these vehicles. The motorcycle vignette must be attached to a clean and, above all, non-replaceable part of the motorcycle, such as the fork leg or the tank. A vignette on the suitcase or a side bag is not valid. Quads, although registered as motorcycles, are, regardless of the track width and regardless of the driving license class authorized to drive, as multi-track vehicles and, on the other hand, require a car vignette. No additional vignette is required for trailers, caravans, side cars for motorcycles and the like. As an alternative to the well-established adhesive vignette, there has also been a digital vignette since 2018. The digital vignette is tied to the license plate. The digital vignette can be purchased at the sales offices of the OMTC, Arbo and ADAC, in various petrol stations and tobacconists as well as at the Asfinag toll booths. You can also obtain them from machines at various service areas and border crossings. Now it's important. If you buy the digital vignette through a sales partner, at the toll booth or from a vending machine, it will be valid without a time limit from the desired date. But, if you buy the digital vignette via the Asfinag webshop or the Asfinag app, the consumer protection period applies to you as a private individual. Therefore, the purchase is only valid from the 18th day afterwards. However, this is different for entrepreneurs. Here the right of withdrawal does not apply and the digital vignette can be used immediately. Okay. You were so farsighted and managed to take care of a vignette and suddenly you are in front of a toll booth in Austria again. Then you have now arrived at one of six sections of the Austrian motorway and expressway network. These routes are often referred to as special tolls or video tolls. Good news. There is no vignette obligation here. Bad news. The section toll is more expensive. Because these are more expensive alpine crossings. You have two options for the section tolls. Either you simply pay at the barrier with the machine or with the Asfinag service staff present there. Or you have already taken care of a digital route ticket in advance. Pay attention to the right lane for the reduced speed access road. Here you can deal with a vending machine. We will come to this point later when we talk about tolls over 3.5 tons. And this lane applies to you if you have already bought a digital route ticket in advance. I'll show you how that works now. As with the digital vignette.
I can also buy such a route ticket via the ASFINAG webshop or the ASFINAG app. However, you do not have to observe a 18-day period for the route toll ticket. Because you can click on the immediate use option when you buy it, so there is no time limit. The digital section toll is available both for a single journey, one journey or two journeys, and as an annual pass. The single journey remains valid for one year from the date of issue. The annual ticket is valid for 365 days from the first day of validity. The advantage of the digital route ticket is definitely the video track. License plate recognition then takes place here and the barrier opens automatically if the comparison is appropriate. But if the video track is not open, or if there is a longer line than with the manual tracks, it doesn't matter. Just drive to one of the other lanes and the barriers open thanks to the video license plate recognition. This is especially true for vehicles with trailers and motorcycles. These vehicles must enter one of the other lanes. For you bikers, unfortunately, it has to be said in advance that you can't avoid a stop. Therefore, I find a digital route ticket rather useless when riding a motorcycle. Because you also have to stop at the toll booth with a digital section toll ticket and show the ticket or hold the barcode on the ticket to the scanner. If you are enthusiastic about the digital section toll with your vehicle, want little effort and uncomplicated payment, then the latest offer is recommended. The digital section toll flex. Here you only have to register your vehicle once in advance in the Asfinig webshop or the Asfinig app. Deposit a means of payment and you're done. In future, you will simply be recognized by the license plate recognition and with flex. Every trip through an Austrian route toll station will be automatically billed afterwards according to the applicable tariffs. Don't forget, however, that the vignette is not included here and must be purchased separately. Okay. But what if you are traveling with a maximum permissible total weight of more than 3.5 tons? This includes all trucks, buses and heavy mobile homes. Then a distance-based toll applies on Austria's motorways and expressways, the GO toll. I will come to the GO toll in the next video. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to be notified as soon as the video is online. So dear friends of mobility, I hope you enjoyed this video, then please give me a like. Otherwise, I look forward to your feedback. You are also welcome to ask questions in the comments. I wish you a safe journey on the Austrian toll roads and I'm already looking forward to the next video.